created by black Americans is not. So, um, and to understand, Southerners control the, 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 the history books are being rewritten by Democrats. I mean, this is totally different than what we've had in the past. Yeah. But again, and before it was kind of like, okay, they died, we're going to memorialize them, right? Yeah. Uh, but basically, uh, it, it, uh, okay. But basically, historians have traced how a separate tradition of Memorial Day services, which emerged itself, was linked to the lost cause and partially emerged in the National Day of Memories. They created it, folks. They, you know, uh, by June 1916, the birthday of Confederate Jefferson Davis was reserved as a state holiday in 10 southern states across the South. Associations were founded after the war, many by women again, to establish and care for permanent cemeteries for the soldiers. Organized commemorative ceremonies and sponsor impressive monuments a permanent way of remembering the Confederate cause and tradition. The United Daughters of the Confederacy at one time was 17,000 by 1900 and 100,000 by World War I. That's a lot. 100,000 yeah. women banded together for the United Daughters of the Confederacy. Oh, yeah. Like the, uh, they, they didn't have the internet at that point either. Well, I know. They were doing it, you know, well, the, 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 the telephone, telegraph, and tell a woman. <laughs> so, um, then see, uh, basically by 1866, uh, women in Columbus, Mississippi laid flowers at the graves of both Union and Confederate casualties buried in the moor. The early Confederate Memorial Day celebrations were simple, somber occasions for veterans and their family to honor the day and attend to local cemeteries. Around 1890, there was a shift from consolatory emphasis on honoring specific soldiers to public commemoration. Because what it means, they started, this is the day the, camp, the, the presidential campaign and all campaigns for public office launched today. Or they launched them, actually they oh, launched tomorrow. Today is actually just so they could have the Indy 500 race, but no, because it's uh, Memorial Day is actually tomorrow. Actually, it isn't tomorrow. It's it's, it's two. It should be the 30th, but the 28th is uh, when they're going to have it. So I know the ceremony at Gettysburg National Park became nationally well known starting in 1868. In June 1913, veterans of the United States and the Confederate armies gathered. And and um, Gettysburg to commemorate the 50th year anniversary of the war of bloodiest and most famous battles. Basically, now you, can, now you get to see where the parades and all stuff came from. Ooh, and the four-day blue-gray reunion featured parades, reenactments, and speeches from a host of dignitaries, including President Woodrow Wilson, the first Southerner elected to the White House since the war. James Heflin of Alabama was given the honor of the main address, and Heflin, who was a noted orator and two of his best known speeches was an, were an endorsement of the Lincoln Memorial and his call to make Mother's Day a holiday. His choice as Memorial Day speaker was criticized as he was opposed for his racism, but his speech was moderate in tone and stressed national unity and goodwill which gained praise from newspapers. But what's the flags the right half stuff until noon? Yeah, on Memorial really? Day. Really? Yeah. I thought it was all day. Uh, well, no, basically this slower um, on Memorial Day, the flag is uh, it is raised briskly to the top of the staff and is solemnly lowered to the half staff position remains until noon. It is then raised to full staff for the remainder of the day. The half staff position remembers the more than one million men and women who gave their lives and sacrifice for their country. At noon, it said the memory is raised by uh, is raised by the living who resolve not to let their sacrifice be an age, but to raise up and. So. Yeah, we'll see if they follow that tradition here. Well, I actually, we, we don't, we're probably not looking at flags at noon, so. Yeah. No, but you know what I mean, not national, because you'll see it in the national news. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, basically, uh, the, the, see, the Declaration Day was gradually changed. Memorial Day did not become more common until after World War II and was not declared the official name by federal law until 1867. By June 28, 1968, the Congress passed the Uniform Holidays Bill, which created four more holidays for union workers. Folks, you got to understand. Okay, and this is basically when they were when they were criticizing people for racist comments. What party was in control? Which? The Democrats. When they were putting the black Americans down and taking the holiday they created away from, what party was in control? Which? Uh, and when they created all these extra federal holidays and moved them from the day they were supposed to be to the day to a Monday, what party was in control? 
Was it all the Democrats? Yeah, like, isn't that amazing? Oh, I'm just guessing. No, By the mean, way, you're saying that. Yeah. Um, they see yeah, uh, the change with Memorial Day from its traditional May 30th to the last Monday in May. The law took effect due to federal labor in 1971. The veterans of foreign wars and sons of the Union veterans and civil wars advocate returning to the original date. All the significance of the date is tenuous. So um, the VFW uh, started and in, in, stated in, in because basically there, you, you can't make a change anyway because the government's not going to allow it. So. Then we got the Memorial Day address that everybody sees. So, ooh, and changing the date mer merely to create three-day weekends has undermined the very meaning of the day. Oh yeah, because people there forget. Was a, they've got awful big fight going on on on, the, on the day they moved it to. Great big battle. What? No, they took it from a day where no fighting was taking place to put it on a day where a god awful bloody battle oh, took place. Oh, I didn't realize That's that. That's why it was put on the 30th of May because it was no, there the was general no said there was no fighting on that day. None. Oh. So they moved it to a day where a god awful bloody battle took place. Just for the sake of convenience. For the sake of unionism. Oh. But since 1987, Hawaii Senator Daniel Inouye a World War II veteran has introduced a measure to return Memorial Day to its traditional date. After some initial confusion and willing to apply, all 50 states adopted Congress change. Memorial Day endures a holiday which most is deserved because it marks the unofficial beginning of summer. So Yeah, they do, because they do. It's Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Veterans Day goes starts everybody into fall yeah. Memorial Day yeah it is it's like the unofficial day this because after that day uh, 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 then you can wear your you your winter from, white yeah I mean your your summer white your summer white yeah mm -hmm. because you're not supposed to wear white after uh, um, after Veterans Day period and yeah. then you also put away what was it patent leather yeah is it if you're wearing patent but leather but mostly it's because it's really bad weather and you could get ruined on those things but now we get into her side which is the observe how are they uh, I love know. it my side what's it, the observance no, but no it's got to do with you know the Indy 500 coca-cola 600 food drink booze oh okay so you know we were talking about traditionally what people do is what they have a three-day weekend and they're saying oh yeah it's Memorial Day yeah, actually I have what do we do oh okay let's see let's have a barbecue let's have a party there's oh watermelon, watermelon. Yay. we have we actually have two watermelons and we have lots of hot, hot dogs are all on sale so we bring out our flags yeah. right people put the flags up at their homes or the houses their apartments they take them over to grave sites Somebody, what happened to the hot dogs? Oh, they're, they're probably in there. Um, and a lot of people do visit. Well, we do have hot dogs. We bought lots of hot dogs. They're in there, aren't they? No. Are you serious? Did they get them already? Okay. I did. We did have two bags of hot dogs and a bag of and a, ba a big bag of sa smoked sausage and some big things. They seem to be gone. There are a lot of Memorial Day parades. Yeah. And it actually tends to be a family weekend or just a vacation weekend. Um, m most of the feature marching bands and an overall military thing because it's Memorial Day, yeah. right? Actually, let's see, one of the largest standing traditions is the Indianapolis 500, which has been going on all weekend. Also, the Monaco Grand Prix is going on, it's, but I don't think, did they, no. they didn't do that for Memorial Day. No, it, 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 um, it basically, it, it's been, it was, a mean, okay, in France, these races were meant to test automobiles. So this has been um. around since the beginning of the automobile craze. So. It just happens to be on, uh, because this is not Memorial Day, tomorrow is. They do not hold, you know why they do not hold a sporting events like this on Monday? Because it's a travel day? Because it's a travel day. And they so they hold it on day. Sunday because it's the middle of a three-day weekend. And oh, I forgot get over there. the public what? broadcasting thing is tonight. What public broadcasting? I don't remember public broadcasting. <gasps> oh, they always do their Memorial Day thing. I totally forgot about that. Now i got to remember, it's on the same time as Godzilla, so I have to pass Godzilla. Wow. So anyway, for the Indianapolis 500, um, they've been holding it in conjunction with Memorial Day since 1911. Can you believe that? Actually, well, actually when, it was, when it was Decoration Day, it goes back so far. Although, uh, what, what does it say? It runs on the Sunday preceding them? Oh, yeah, that's right, the day before. Um, the Coca-Cola 600 stock car has been held later the same day since 1961. The Memorial Tournament Golf Tournament. Um, has been held on or close to Memorial Day weekend since the 1976. 
So basically, you know, it's a three-day weekend. Let's bring out all the sporting events. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but the, the National Memorial Day concert takes place on the West. See, if we hadn't have been doing our Memorial Day thing, we'd have totally forgot about the concert tonight. That's right. So we can watch it tonight on PBS or NPR. Yeah. There's no... Do they have fireworks even though? Yeah, they have fireworks. They go boom, 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 and because... Mm -hmm. You know, and later when you get to the Fourth of July, do 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 very public events. Oh, they're all going to be. If you're if you're in the military, you're going to be proudly promoting. You're going to have your little hat, you know, little hat that says you know military, and all your decorations on you. So, mm -hmm. you know, like if you if you were if you were Russian celebrating their version of Memorial Day, you'd have a private with enough battle to start a war. <laughs> but um, uh, basically, uh, it's a uh, uh, Across the country, across most of the central and southern continent, summer like weather generally does begin reasonably close to Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. But in the north, it's snowing in the it's snowing across the northern plains, and we got a hurricane. Are you across. serious? Yeah, there's Will a great you... big hurricane out there on the east coast, so it's not it's not good weather today. Actually, in New York City, the weather it's got it's hot as heck in New York City. They're, they're setting new records in heat, which really mm -hmm. want to have a parade in weather that people are collapsing because of the humidity from the. But don't worry, in a couple of days in New York, you're going to get that hurricane weather come up there. You're going to get lots of rain. Yeah. But, um, you know, they, they said there, in the in in Northwest, there's a somewhat popular expression that summer actually begins July the 5th. Mm. Um, but, um, yeah, we After got, the 4th of July. I know, yeah. look, we got the last one now interpretations of Memorial Day. Oh no, this is like, okay, the serious stuff. The interpretations that scholars following the lead of sociologist Robert Bilal often make the argument that the U.S. has a secular civil religion, one with no association with any religious denomination or viewpoint that, is, that has incorporated Memorial Day as a sacred event. Memorial Day is not a religious it's event. It's not a religious event because it has okay. nothing to do with one church or one, basically, they got the Jews celebrated with us, the Muslims celebrated yeah. with us, the it's Catholics celebrated. It's a memorial, it. It it's is a for memorial of the soldiers who have served our country, yeah. right? It doesn't, okay, um, basically said they're, they're, um, you, you have no religion in a foxhole. So. And the obligation of both collective and individual to carry out God's will on earth is a theme that lies in the American tradition. With the Civil War, a new theme of death, sacrifice, and rebirth enters the civil religion. Where is that a civil religion? Yeah. Okay. okay. Memorial Day uh, gave he, you what? He supports the President of the United States for re-election. Guess what party he belongs to? Yeah. Civil real. It's, it's. Okay, this is a new one on me. Yeah. It's a new, it's a new interpretation you've got up there. Uh, Memorial Day gave ritual expression to these themes, integrating the local community into a sense of nationalism. The American civil religion, in contrast to that of France, was never anti-clerical or military secular. In contrast to Britain, it was not, not tied to a specific denomination such as the Church of England. Americans borrowed from different religious traditions so that the average American saw no, saw no conflict between the two and deep levels of personal motivation were aligned with attaining national goals. What? Yeah, I, uh, you like that one? Oh my God! That it's a religious holiday, and basically we're forcing our religion upon the people of the world with this Memorial Day celebration. Now, now this, I have. They did a good. You're, one. you're looking at it on my face. It's like I have never seen this before. See, well, this is what happens as they rewrite history. Yeah, and history will continue to be written. I'm, I have no idea what we're going to have next year because. I mean, civil religion. Yeah. That's, isn't that a good one? So, I thought you'd find this one interesting today. I mean, that one's worthy of tweeting about. Yeah, the, so I guess until next year, and we'll probably have another whole version. This is Oh, a, my think, gosh. I think this is our sixth different version of Memorial Day, or seven, That's probably sad. six, I think, so until then go again. 
I know, I'm still surprised. Oh, and this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybowman.net on the net or www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet. Yes, and come like us on Facebook, Monty Bubbles Network, or follow us on Twitter at Monty Bubbles. Oh, <laughs>